Tips to stay safe online. The internet is a public place and it is up to you to protect yourself. Here are some tips to help you stay safe when using the internet. 1. Be mindful of what you share online what site you share it to. 2. Do not just accept terms and conditions, read it. 3. Do not share your password with anyone. 4. Avoid logging into public network slash Wi-Fi. Browsing in incognito, or private, mode, a feature of the browser, will not protect you from hackers. 5. Do not talk to strangers whether online or face-to-face. -face. 6. Never post anything about a future vacation. It is similar to posting, rob my house at this date. 7. Add friends you know in real life. 8. Avoid visiting untrusted websites. 9. If you have a Wi-Fi at home, make it a private network by adding a password. 10. Avoid downloading from untrusted websites. You are most vulnerable in peer-to-peer -peer downloads, torrents, as the download is most likely not monitored by the site owner. 11. Buy the software. Do not use pirated ones. 12. Do not reply or click links from suspicious emails. 13. Install and update antivirus software on your computer. Use only one antivirus software to avoid conflicts. Types of antivirus. Some antivirus. Bitdefender. ESETNOD32. F-Secure. Casper Scott. Norton. Avest. Smidef. Protecting reputations online. In the past, doing something embarrassing was not much was not much of a big deal. It happened, people would laugh at it, and they would move on. Nowadays, embarrassing moments are captured using any device you could imagine. What is worse is that people can easily upload it to the internet, where it can be stored forever. This could impact not only your reputation but also the people around you. What is worse is that people tend to ignore this fact, and suffer from it later in their life. Before hiring, companies do a background check on the applicant, and the easiest way to check your background is to visit pages that are related to you. Thus, if they find disreputable information about you, it may harm your reputation even if this information has been discarded. Think before you click. 1. Ask yourself. Would you want your parents or grandparents to see it? 2. Talk to your friends about this serious responsibility. 3. Set your post to private. 4. Avoid using names. Names are easy for search engines to scan. 5. If you feel that a post can affect you or others' reputation, ask the one who posted it to full it down or report it as inappropriate. Copyright infringement. If you create something, an idea, invention, a form of literary work, or a research, you have the right as to how it should be used by others. This is called intellectual property. In other words, the copyright law includes your rights over your work, and anyone who uses it without your consent is punishable by law. Try grabbing any book then browse its first few pages and you will find a page with a declaimer with the words, no part of this book may be copied, reproduced. That is copyright page. Copyright infringement. As a responsible user of the internet, you have to consider that not everything out there is free for you to use. Just like your own, contents that you see from website have their respective copyrights infringement and are sentenced to a huge fine due to reckless copying of materials. 1. Understand. Copyright protects literacy works, photographs, paintings, drawings, films, music, and lyrics, choreography, and sculptures, but it generally does not protect underlying ideas and facts. This means that you can express something using your own words, but you should give credit to the source. To be responsible. Even if a materials does not say that is copyrighted, it is not a valid defense against copyright. Be responsible enough to know if something has a copyright. 3. Be creative. 
Ask yourself whether what you are making is something that came from you or something made from else's creativity. It is important to add your own creative genius in everything that will be credited to you. 4. Know the law. There are some limitations to copyright laws. For instance in the Philippines, copyrights only last a lifetime, of the author, plus 50 years. There are also provisions for fair use which mean that an intellectual property may be used without a consent as long as it is used in commentaries, criticisms, search engines, parodies, news reports, research, library archiving, teaching, and education. If you have doubts that what are you doing does not fall under the policy of fair use, seek permission first.